Petrov's defense, classical, Nemzowitsk attack. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. Petrov's defense immediately attacks white's unprotected e4 pawn, while ignoring black's unprotected e5 pawn. It is excellent. Nx e5 places the knight in the center, where it has influence over many crucial squares, and takes the undefended e5 pawn. It is ideal. d6 attacks the knight on e5 and allows the light squared bishop to develop. It is best. Nf3 returns the attacked knight back to the f3 square, where it supports the d4 square and fights for the e5 square. It is best. Nx e4 captures the e4 pawn and places the knight in the center of the board, where it controls many important squares. It is best. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e4 and controls the d5 square. It is good. Forcing the opponent to double their pawns helps create weaknesses. Backs off. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. This allows the knight to control more squares. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling queenside tends to be more active because the rook is closer to the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent normally leads to a sharp, attacking game. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is the last book move. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain tempo. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This allows the opponent to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. That is good. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. It is quite good. By attacking the enemy knight, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is quite good. An opportunity to signal checkmate is lost in this. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is incorrect. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. It is a mistake. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is quite good. This protects the bishop who was attacked. That's good. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Backs off. It is quite good. This ignores a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten checkmate. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. That's good. This is an equal trade. It is best. 
This is the only good move. It is a great move. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is a mistake. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This enables the adversary can grab an open file containing a rook. It is incorrect. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. This puts the opposing rook in a position to lose control of the open file. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. This wins material. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players navigated the middle game well.